Okay, so I'm in this season right now where I'm renovating my house and I am not currently in my house right now. This is actually my cousin's house. She's like, yo, I'm going out of town. Can you watch my dog and you can maybe get away from your house remodel? And I'm like, yes. Let my sinuses breathe just a little bit to where I'm not sucking in dust 24 seven. And um, you know, they have a beautiful house here um, by the river. So I'm kind of just kicking it. We were doing some siding replacement and some doors swapping around and some lighting and stuff like that. Crushing it at the house today, but gonna be painting next week. But what I'm popping on the YouTube channel for is to talk to you guys, girls, whatever you may be, about a true general contractor does not swing a hammer. So I know a lot of you are kind of following along my journey of building my business and seeing the growth kind of firsthand. I'm able to kind of hold this camera and then connect it to this internet platform and other humans can watch and it's this crazy like mind-blowing thing that you're able to follow along my journey. So it's cool to have you around. And along my journey, I've really learned the meat of the matter. And this video is all about how to not, I've made a video in the past, like how to get off the tools in your construction business, but like you really, and you know, you really want to be careful if you're out there swinging a hammer. I know some business owners, like one of my HVAC guys is like, you know, he'll fill in like installing handlers and condensers and running duct work. Like when I need, he's not picking up his phone when I need to like talk to him about business and the next project and estimating and the maybe a problem that he needs to come resolve in this other project. So I think it's extremely valuable if you can kind of um, learn to delegate, be a people person and not swing the hammer. But you have to know that you're an entrepreneur at the core. You have to know that you're a business person, not just an entrepreneur, but there's that next level of kind of developing what I'm kind of branching into recently is becoming a business person. Should I switch the angle? Okay, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna bring it down to the river because you know, why not? But um, I think the biggest, I think the biggest thing to really realize here, and I just fed Gus, that's actually why I'm here. This is Gus, by the way. Um, I have a cousin named Ellen, and uh, this is Ellen's dog, Gus. Hey, bud, how are you? Yeah, and that's of course Jake. I brought Jake, and uh, oh, and when Gus shakes his head, ISO way too high. Okay, I think, I think, I think 160 will do it. When Gus shakes his head, this is really valuable information. Slobber goes everywhere, just so you know. But so I think you need to realize your goals up front. You need to realize who you are. Look at this view, by the way. During the sunset, this view is just absolutely. To realize that you're an entrepreneur at the core um, before you start, I think is a good kind of place in your mind to get to, to where you're not going to get stuck as, you're not going to get stuck as the technician at that point. If you read The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, I highly recommend that book. He talks about the three levels of the technician, the manager, and then the entrepreneur. And when you get from even the manager to a, an entrepreneur, you're less of a technician that had an entrepreneurial seizure and started a business and is like, oh man, I get it, Gus. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I'm a great technician. I can really install HVAC or I'm an amazing carpenter. I'm gonna start my own business. And you know, there are a lot of guys that go out there and start their businesses and they're amazing craftsmen. And I've made these points a couple times before, but I think that's needed. I think that's needed to have those guys that, you know, chuck in a truck, you know, the single guys, or maybe they have a guy that works with them. I know a lot of guys that are like, yeah, I can't, they can't even hire one guy. They're so scared because they've been hurt before that, that that one guy is going to be so bad that they're just not going to get anywhere and they're going to, it's going to be a struggle and they're going to steal from them and they're going to not work and they're going to be paying them by the hour and they're just going to sit around and there's all, you know, all the bad parts about hiring employees, but, but, and so they wind up doing all the work themselves for years and years. And I see their bodies just falling apart, like back surgeries and their knees falling apart and they're limping into the job site and they're like, I can barely, hopefully this shot isn't getting all blown out here. I don't want to see you guys, the younger generation, those people who follow this YouTube channel, you can kind of see like the, 
Get him, Gus. <laughs> you kind of see like the demographics, you know, there's like, it's people my age, it's like 25 to 35 year olds watching this channel. I don't want to see you guys fall into that trap of constantly producing yourself, you know, to where I'd rather see you if you see a need like um, a village that needs water and you, and you start carrying buckets of water but the guy next to you, he's gonna go get some, maybe a little bit of help from friends and thought and then hire an architect, an engineer to make this thing happen. Everyone's looking at him like he's nuts but he's building a pipeline and then he's charging pennies on the dollar of what the guy carrying the buckets is charging and he, it's a monopoly. The guy carrying the buckets, first of all, he's having back surgery and it's gonna completely put the guy out of business. And so I think there are, there are dogs everywhere, that's what I think. So, oh, shot. Okay, let's go, I'll meet you back over here. Okay, so my, whoa, got a nice wide angle now. The uh, Uber guy just came, I ordered some burger fi, an amazing conflicted burger, which is half veggie and half regular burger. So I'm gonna run back inside and eat that, but uh, let's see. But I do want to wrap this up. So how do you know that you really want to be an entrepreneur before you start? You know you're an entrepreneur if you were the kid that was always thinking about how you could afford things, not, ah, oh, well, I can't afford that, so I'm not even gonna try. So, like, I was the top producer on like this candy sales thing. I would go to door to door, my mom would drive me, and I would sell candy and like pretzels and all kinds of like, like trinkets and goods. It was like a competition in the whole school. At least I made it one. I was like the top guy that, um, that sold these things. Because sales is the lifeblood of the company. You know, because you're gonna have to be a natural people person, a salesperson, how to sell and solve a problem and, and explain to people that, hey, this is a win-win. Sales is a win-win. It's you solve people's problems and they pay you to do so. It's not take your money for some you know, scammy salesy type, you know, like used car, or like it's really broken, but you're selling it. No, it's like you're providing value. And so if you can provide value to the marketplace and you can position yourself to know that you're excited about building the systems, the accounting processes, the, the purchase orders, the, the, the all kinds of things, like the actual biz, like, like the, um, the actual operations of the company, like everything that goes into a business, know that you're the guy who's responsible for it. You're the woman who's responsible for it. <laughs> and it's, it's up to you, no one else is gonna do it, to put those processes and systems in place. And so that's the exciting thing, is really understanding who you are and not, and not picking up the hammer. It's explaining how to swing the hammer because you know you've swung the hammer since you were a teenager and you understand what needs to be done and how the nail pattern needs to be placed for the siding to be done right and all these different things and how the whole building's put together. But it's up to you to take the tool belt off and really realize that you're the entrepreneur and you can eventually delegate the manager portion of the business, if that makes sense. Because there's the technician, the manager, and then there's the entrepreneur. And so, I'll leave it at that. This was fun. I'm gonna go eat my burger, which is amazing. It's an amazing burger. And I really appreciate this window. This window is amazing. It's got great lighting. But I really appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. There's Jake. Say bye, Jake. <laughs> Thanks guys. I really appreciate you watching my, my YouTube channel. Bye.